Okay then guys, this is the third video of the uh, autopsy of the um, X-ray transformer. This is um, now in an oil, excuse the dogs in the background playing. Uh, this is now in the uh, dielectric oil, and mineral oil. And um, I'm just making sure that when I power this thing up it's not going to arc out to anything apart from what it should be arcing to, which is the, the spark gap just here. Um, because I'm turning it up, I want it to have a constant arc so I don't flash the windings in any way. And um, I'm just using my porcelain standoffs, aren't they beautiful? I got this from eBay. And um, I'm just keeping these in the way of, you know, to stop anything from getting too close to, from the output wires, too close to the anywhere of, of this transformer. Because really, it, I could do with a bigger container, but this is all I've got at the minute to. Uh, to power it up properly. I have powered it up already just to test it. Um, I just gave it 20 volts and um, they were uh, pretty good. So let me just ensure that everything is safe to do so. <coughs> just bring this up a bit so that you guys can see it. This is where I'm going to be. So I need to tilted top so you can see some arcs. Can you see the spark gap? Just. Okay. This is 20 volts. There's the spark gap just there. That's 40 volts. Sixty. Sorry, sixty volts now. That's the fuse going. I've just caned the fuse. Let's have a look. Ho 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 ho, look at that. Can you see that? Now that was one hot fuse. That was a 13 amp fuse as well, that was. And I caned it. Ooh. So no good turning that, turn, t plugging that back in. I have to get a bigger wire. But anyway, let me just take you off here and show you. Right. As you can see, that's where I was just testing it earlier on. It's all nicely insulated. I've used this insulation from um, from some from another X-ray transformer. I've just basically put it all the way around and around to the other side as well. That's me output down there, which is all insulated properly. And uh, that's the um, filament output, which you do get an arc from that. It's quite quite powerful actually. Um, I've just um, encased those off because I won't be really needing those, but I'm not going to uh, cut them off because at the end of the day they could be used for something else. And that's the primary just down there. Yuck, bloody oil gets everywhere. And uh, so on. Not a bad transformer at all. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's the last of the mineral oil from it. Still about mm, about a litre and a half inside there left. There's a spark gap I was just using. So, hope you uh, enjoyed that video guys. Because I certainly did. Not a bad output at all really, eh? So, if you're uh, new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, please rate guys, please give me the thumbs up. The, uh, and uh, take care of yourselves and we'll speak again
Thanks for watching.